Hello, my name is Nessa Tilson and this is a short video to show how to use OptiCut to optimize your cutting lists. OptiCut is a professional op cutting optimization software that can import cutting lists from any um, spreadsheet like Excel, OpenOffice or from any text file that you've actually written with an up with uh, word processing software and it will take the cutting list and it will optimize it onto given sheets of material that you have in stock. I'm going to show you in this video how to use OptiCut with Polyboard, our cabinet software. First of all, I'm going to build a project in Polyboard. I'm going to Polyboard is made for cabinet design, but it can also design practically any woodworking project. I'm going to use Polyboard to design a separation um, in an office, an office separation in wooden panels, and we're going to export this office separate this sep these wooden separations into OptiCut, and see how OptiCut can give us instantly um, all the cutting optimization, how to cut our sheet material, and how much this will is actually going to cost, and how much to buy. So let's start off with Polyboard and let's generate a project in Polyboard and say for instance let's start a new project on a, on a base floor in which we're going to create walling. So if I create a, a, a couple of walls here and we can see by actually drawing here and this is going to be the basis of my project. So if I look in 3D we can see that I have actually very quickly created a 3D representation of a floor slab with some walls on it. My objective here is going to be to build a separating wall um, in wood and add a few doors and th that will close off this area here to make a small office. So let's just make the floor a bit more um, a bit more floorish and we're going to put some tiling on the floor, just a simple texture that we can put on the floor to separate it from visually from the walls. To build my separation, I'm going to add um, some separated, some predefined models, which I've actually created here. And these are just, if I look, they are just parts of cabinets. In fact, here we just have the back of a cabinet, which would be which we have assembled to create a frame partition or a frame for a door, or in fact a complete double door. To separate off the, our, our office, let's just take a, 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 a separating partition and clip it into place. And here we have the first partition that we actually clipped into place. Let's take another one, or let's take the door, maybe frame for the door here. And here we have the door. Let's take as well now uh, another partition panel and let's take now a partition panel that goes on to this particular wall and we could take also a partition panel now to turn around this corner this one I will turn and we'll flip it up at right angles we have a look at our project. Here's our project in 3D. Let's put a door on. We can put the door in the framing. Let's put a door, a double door, into this front frame that was made for the door. Let's clip it onto here. And if we look in 3D, we have now the double door, which we can open and close to give a good representation of how our project is evolving. We can see now here the panels are actually overlapping and what we would prefer to see is in fact um, that this panel here goes up against this panel here. So to do that what we need to do is we need to know the distance between the horizontal distance between this wall and the side of this panel here which is 500. Once I know the distance I just have to take this panel and re redesign, redesign width to 500, re, re give another dimension uh, width and when I click out of it I will create a model with a panel that is 
now 500. Let's put this up, it's actually made it 500 from the other end, but let's put it against the wall. Here, and it fits in nicely. Now, this one is also too long. Let's measure this one horizontally from here to here. And we now have 1 meter 50 on the outside width. And let's take now this one and create it. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't take the right size, did I? The measuring tool here, horizontal distance from here to here, 1 meter 25. Let's quit the measuring tool, go back in here, and give it 1 meter 25. Let's create a new model. And now our project has just fitted quite well together, nicely together, and we have a series of panels that closes off this area into an office. We could add a little bit more detail to this particular project. For instance, if we were said that we needed to add some furniture, we could take a bit of furniture that's actually been pre-designed in polyboard. For instance, let's take some drawers. Uh, let's take a couple of drawers here. The drawers are now added to the project, and these drawers can be now added to the to the 3D project. Um, the actual size of the drawers is actually quite small, or the height of 600. If we have a look into the project here. It's a very small set of drawers. It's more like a bedside table. But we can just read dimension said, and give it a decent size so that giving you know just redimensioning the sizes so that it can be more of an office drawer. Um, let's give it a 500 depth and let's just pull it out against the wall here. Put it against the wall here. And if we can see now that we have the office drawers in place. We can open and close drawers and doors and now we have a quite a neat little project which we can uh, export to OptiCut. Exporting OptiCut is very simple let's just take the cutting lists or com um, command and we go to OptiCut file export and let's take project 3 let's take project 3 as a name and I will just enter in the names of each different part as they came from the um, polyboard project. Now polyboard has automatically opened up OptiCut and here it has automatically op opened up the optimization of all the panels that are in the project. And here we have all the panels that are in the project. Uh, let's optimize all this and close. And oh, this is sorry this is not the panels this is in fact um, all the bars the sections of the, the wood sections that are actually making up the framing of the panels and this is all being optimized to be cut from if we look closely here from um, 5 meter 100 5 meter 10 um, centimeters lengths of pre-machined beach in 90 by 45 sections so we can see that the actual beach uh, optimization of the of the bars of beach, uh, we can see that we need of five meter lengths, five meter, one hundred millimeter lengths. We need ten bars, um, and with the prices that we're given, the actual cost is calculated here: the cost of the bars themselves and the cost of the actual cutting list. So the cost of the bars is actually one thousand seven hundred eighty-five euros. Every bar is, let's have a look at how the bars, bars have been cut. Every bar has been cut with a minimizing off cuts. And it's quite neatly done. And so we know exactly how we have to cut our bars. Now let's optimize the sheet material. Let's take the sheet material from the same plates. Here we have all the sheet material and optimize it. I just click on optimize and OptiCut will look through all the different materials we have in stock with the different prices and optimize the cutting of the sheet material. All the sheet material was actually mixed up and if I close here we can see that we have in fact sheet material that is used for the drawers which is in MDF 
and we have two sheets of MDF and we have sheet materials which is actually um, beach uh, panelling which is here in beach panelling as Opti um, OptiCard has calculated the price of everything has given the number, total number of panels and it has given the price of the, all the different panels we have here 676 euros worth of panel to make the whole project including our set of drawers um, if we look in the, the drawers we can see how OptiCut has actually um, optimized this sheet if we look at how, the, how we should cut it we can see that the first cut is here in red for this, each panel for this particular panel sorry and then the next cuts are here 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 and here on this particular part we have to return the panel and cut it here and then cut here 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 and here and then cut here and the other one is cut here so you can see that OptiCut has actually optimized all the cutting, both sheet material and the material that you've bought in bars, the profiled material, and given us exactly how and in what sequence we have to cut it. So that's just a quick overview of what we can do with polyboard to build wall separations, and what we can do with OptiCut linked to polyboard, which will automatically generate a very optimized cutting list for sheet and bar materials and also give prices and cutting sequences. Thank you very much for looking at this little video and I hope it's been interesting for you and I hope that we'll be able to see one another in again another video where I'll show you more about OptiCut and more about Polybot. Thank you very much. Goodbye.